Strange in this world of woke, isn't it? You see, in this particular story here, this lady is labelled a strong woman, while this man, the Deputy Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, is labelled a bully. As ever, though, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining me today. As ever, lovely to have your company and thank you for your comments about the fax machines. I know, makes you feel ancient, doesn't it? Anybody remember the telex machine? That I never fathomed that. I worked in a hotel for a while and I was just claiming it never came through. I couldn't, I never understood it. You had to have a really good mind, didn't you? It was almost like the code breakers to work with those things. Didn't realise fax machines resonated with so many people. But, you know, again, everything moves on, doesn't it? When you think about it, it kind of makes sense because now people airdrop. I know, do you know what that is? I know. I thought it was a condition. It's a new thing on the iPad or something. And you can't keep up. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like me? You wake up every day thinking, can't we just go back to the old days like Shakespeare with a quill and a pen or a feather or something? Won't that do? You know, <laughs> but no, seemingly not. It's a little bit like the walk world we live in, isn't it, today? Because obviously, on a more serious note, this particular story recently hit the headlines over here in the United Kingdom. There's currently an investigation going into the Deputy Prime Minister, Dominic Raab. Apparently, he raised a finger at someone and threw some lettuce from his sandwich at another person while they were having a very heated debate suddenly that's resulted in bullying accusations i know you couldn't make this stuff up could you so much so now that there's an investigation lawyers have been brought in all the usual stuff now it's strange isn't it to think because as i say it's kind of one rule for one and one for the other now in the headlines today over here in the united kingdom the good morning britain presenter susanna reed britain's highest paid TV presenter at over £1 million a year has been labelled a strong woman. This is because she's hit out, and some might say rightly so, at the endless mistakes that have been broadcast during her show at GMB every single day. Spelling mistakes, names of presenters wrong, uh, going to the wrong video, all of that sort of stuff. All the things that actually happen during live TV. And if you're a professional and you've been at it a long time, a little bit like myself, you just get round it. You know, there's no need to really lose you because it's early morning and people do make mistakes and really you know it's an unearthly hour but seemingly yes Susanna Reid has shown her true colours, turned into something of a mommy dearest Joan Crawford figure. That's right. And so suddenly, as I say, the media have decided that this, in fact, is not a bullying case. Oh, no. It's simply Susanna being a strong woman who really wants just what she needs and requires for her programme. So we might say, what is the difference between that and Mr Dominic Raab, the Deputy Prime Minister of, of course, the United Kingdom? You see, earlier this week, they couldn't wait to report with great relish about this particular individual and this report. And as ever, you know, Susanna batting her eyelashes and uh, flicking her hair back at every opportunity was very much on the woke side of people about how these things needed to be investigated. But as I say, over here, it's a totally different thing when it comes from them. And what's interesting to note about this particular individual report regarding Susanna being a strong woman and not a bully, I might point out, well, apparently that's come from an inside job, which says to me, not that everybody's happy with the way that Miss Reed conducts herself behind the scenes of Good Morning Britain. But then she wouldn't want to hear that because apparently, according to her, it's very much a happy ship with everybody getting on and everybody equal. Well, all equal apart from pay, of course, Susanna, at one million a year. But which either way you look at it, as I said at the start of this video, it's double standards. And as ever, I'd love to know what you think to this particular breaking news story in the comments below. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.